Welcome to another edition of Let's Turn This Box Truck Into an RV. Today is Sunday, April 8th, 2018, and we're still at it. Uh, today's episode is about curtains. No, it's not about Oreo, but Oreo's in the video anyways. All right, it's about curtains. We're going to start actually in the cab here, and I'm going to show you what the curtains look like from the cab side. You can see they are just blackout curtains which is exactly what I wanted. You basically can't see through them. They're fairly heavy. They're pretty, I think, soundproof, uh, pretty thermal, and lightproof, which is exactly what I wanted. So come on around to the inside. Oh, look at that. The luxury curtains looks like a movie theater. Uh, they turned out nicely. I'm very happy with them. Uh, Crystal found a person that was going to sew these for us for $100. And I'm about as stubborn as a mule, and uh, I like to do things myself. So I have never really sewn much before in my life, but I bought a sewing machine. It was $289, and uh, it's a Sailrite knockoff. Sailrite makes a really nice sewing machine. Uh, it's kind of a heavy-duty, I don't want to quite say industrial, but it's not just a, a home model either. It's good for upholstery and uh, leather and heavy sewing, and that's what I wanted. A tool that I could use down the road for, for other projects. Because I love tools, and you know, I think the person that dies with the most tools wins, and I guess I'm out to win. So I got myself a sewing machine. It took me quite a while to get it mounted and get it all set up and figure out how to put thread in it and start sewing, but uh, I got going with it and got going pretty well. Uh, I wanted just one curtain across. Crystal wanted two separate curtains that you could pull apart. My concern with two separate curtains you could pull apart was that there's only one rod, and that means they're not going to bypass each other, which means there's going to be a crack, which means light's going to get through, which means people can see back here, you can see out, and uh, I didn't want that crack. So to compromise, I did end up making two separate panels. You can see there's a seam in the middle here. But what I did is I sewed some magnets in here. And you can see these magnets are popping apart. They're about every 10 inches or so. And the magnets hold us together. And as you pull this apart then, you have two separate curtains. You can see these magnets are still hanging tight here down the bottom. You can just pull it apart too. And you can overlap this either way, either direction. And it snaps together pretty well with the magnets. You can see right there, it just popped together. And likewise, you can pop it apart pretty easily to open it up. Uh, the magnets I got, I picked up off of Amazon. They are a 20 pack of neodymium magnets, uh, pretty strong magnets. They're kind of long and narrow. I think they were 60, maybe you can even read it on here, 60 by 10 millimeters by a couple millimeters thick. And I sewed them into pockets on the inside. Uh, I made this thing kind of like an inside-out pillowcase. So I started out, made it inside-out, got the magnets in on both sides, lined it all up, and then turned the pillowcase outside in or inside out so that the outside was outside. And then worked on the top. And uh, the top, I used this ribbon that I purchased from Walmart. And you can see it hooks over these little loops. And it really makes nice pleats when you open this thing up at the top. It makes for automatically just nice pleats. And so there it is with the two curtains open. And this tape I'm telling you about, that, again, I picked it up at Walmart. And they call it rod loop tape. And here's a picture of kind of how it all works. And yeah, it works really well. So I stitched it in. I did two rows of stitches on either side. And I did two rows of stitches down the other three sides, top, bottom, left and right, or left and right and bottom. And, uh, and they work out great. And I think they look great in almost any position. If you just pull them something like that, you know, it opens up to the front just a little bit. We well, can close them all the way or you can open them all the way. So, sweet. That's really all I wanted to show you today is the curtains. Ta-da! Until next time.